everyone welcome back to my channel this is another step-by-step -step tutorial this is simple pattern even for absolute beginners and I already made some simple beanie tutorials and the link of them will be in description of this video so if you want to know how to crochet really simple beautiful beanie just keep watching I have used this amazing yarn called Passion from Yarn Art brand. It's 100 grams and 200 meters. And there is 80% of acrylic and 20% of wool. And I will use double yarn. And I will use 6.5 millimeters crochet, pair of scissors, yarn needle, stitch marker and measure tape. I'm going to use double yarn, how I said. So you need two ends of yarn and you will need two balls for an adult size. Start with a slip knot. Use 6.5 millimeter crochet hook and then chain 36. If you will follow me in each step, you need to have the same size of crochet hook, the same yarn, use double yarn and then you can make 36 chain for an adult size okay i have 36 chains i'm going to measure it because um, you can use any other yarn it's up to you okay the foundation chain is 30 30 centimeters and now let's crochet. We are going to crochet just single crochets. So in first row, we are going to make single crochets in each chain across. Start in the second chain and make first single crochet. Then make one single crochet in each chain all the way across. You should make 35 single crochets. I'm at the end of the row and always at the end of each row, chain one and turn your work. And from now we are going to use just back loop. So we are not going to use stitches. If you, if you will turn it like this, you can see the stitch has two loops. So front loop, and back loop and we will use just the back loop this is back loop this is back loop and always start to make first single crochet of each row in very first back loop so this is very first back loop and first single crochet of the row and you have to make one single crochet in 29 back loops 29 because we will not crochet last six six stitches or six back loops so continue working and make one single crochet into the back loop and make 29 single crochets okay i have 29 single crochets and how I said, we will not use in this row these stitches. We will not crochet these stitches. Make chain one and turn. And now we are going to make one single crochet into each back loop all the way across. So start always in very first back loop and make first single crochet. So keep going, you can pause the video and meet me back again at the end of this row. Okay, this is how it looks like. And always at the end of the row where is the starting tail, use both 
loops. So last single crochet goes into the both loops, so into the stitch. We will have nice edge like this. So chain one, turn your work and now make again 29 uh, single crochets into the back loop. And we will use also the last six back loops in this row. So now continue working and meet me back again over here. Now I have two stitches left, so I have to make last two uh, single crochets and then we will crochet also uh, with these six stitches. So first insert your hook into the uh, loop here, then into the sixth uh, back loop counted from the left side so it's following back loop grab the yarn pull it through you have three loops on your hook and finish the single crochet and make one single crochet in each back loop to the end of this row okay and here use normal stitch if you want or you can uh, use back loop doesn't matter chain one at the end of the row turn your work and now make one single crochet into each back loop all the way across so you should make 35 single crochets into the back loop but at the end of this row you should make last single crochet into the stitch so now you should make 34 single crochets into the back loop and last single crochet goes into the stitch okay sixth stitch mark with stitch marker and you will know uh, you have to turn Turn in this stitch or in front of this stitch. I'm at the end of the row. You can see starting tail. So one single crochet into the back loop and last single crochet into the stitch. Because we want to have straight edge, a nicer edge. Chain one, turn your work and start in very first back loop like always and make first single crochet and in this row you should make 29 single crochets so continue working one single crochet in next 29 uh, back loops okay i am at the stitch marker so i have to make last single crochet and now we will not crochet again uh, last six stitches chain one turn your work and go back so one single crochet into uh, into 28 back loops and last 29th single crochet goes again into the stitch at the end of the row last single crochet into the stitch so you have to use both lo loops chain one like always turn your work and repeat it again so uh, we will crochet one single crochet into uh, next 29 back loops and then I will show you again how to how to crochet last six loops okay I'm at the end nearly at the end I have two stitches left so this is 29th single crochet into the back loop and now use this loop again 
because there will not be any gap. Then use back loop in the next stitch, in next, hmm, yeah, in next stitch, and finish single crochet. It's single crochet, but we have three loops on our hook because of the loop what we what we used. It's a extra loop. And finish single crochets into the back loop. So from the stitch marker you should make six single crochets into the back loop. So chain one, turn your walk and start in the very first um, back loop and make first single crochet. Then make one single crochet into each back loop all the way across but don't forget to use stitch. Uh, at the end of the row, so last single crochet goes into the stitch. So you will repeat rows 1, 2, 3 and 4 until you reach desired width of your beanie. So keep going and meet me back again when you will have a desired width of your beanie. And I want to show you how I join the new end of yarn. It's simple. Uh, it's how I do it. If you have different way how to join new end of yarn, it's okay. But I want to show you how I do it. So. I don't finish single crochet with a previous end of yarn and I will finish it with new end of yarn and then I can continue working. Okay, this is how it looks like and now we have to join both sides of beanie together. So it's good when you finish the row uh, on the bottom of the beanie because we can use the same end of yarn. So we are going to use just slip stitches and crochet hook. If you want, you can join both sides together uh, with yarn needle and sew it. It's up to you. And pick side what uh, will be the wrong side and what will be the right side. So, put both sides to each other and now we are going to crochet slip stitches. So make first slip stitch in the first uh, first stitch. So insert your hook into the first stitch, grab yarn, pull it through and make a slip stitch. And now we are going to use again back loops only on the side of beanie closer to us so closer to me it's the side where we have to use just back loop on the other side use stitches and to make a slip stitch
Okay, I am at the end. I need to make one more uh, slip stitch. It's last slip stitch. And then you can cut the yarn, pull it through. And this end we will use also for closing of the hole. For closing of the hole on the top of our beanie. So this is right side for me and this is wrong side. I want to show you how it looks like. You can see there is bigger wally and on the other side there is um, there is more visible the uh, joining joining row. Okay, now use yarn needle and we are going to make uh, stitches all the way around. So just follow me and you need to insert your needle from outside to inside, then from inside to outside and keep going. Keep going all the way around like this. Okay, this is last stitch, then you can tighten it. And we need to make a few more uh, stitches around. And now I'm going to get the needle to the other side, to the wrong side, because I'm going to make a few more stitches also on the wrong side. And it has to be in the same direction. It's enough. Now I'm going to make a simple knot and that's all. I can cut the yarn and that's really all. And I have to weave the starting tail inside the beanie so 
This is last step what I have to do. Now I'm going to measure the length of my beanie and the circumference of my beanie. So the length of my beanie is 32, 31, 31 centimeters. And you can see the crescent part. And now I'm going to measure the circumference. It's, it's 48, but it's stretchy. Okay. So that's all from me. Thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely day and I will look forward at the next video. Bye bye.